New today at 530 also making headlines an invasive species of tick has found its way to the Palmetto State. According to the experts, the Asian Longhorn ticks presence represents the first new tick species in this country in more than 80 years and recently it was found in the upstate. So scientists believe it might also already be here in the Midlands. News 19's Nate Stanley has the details you need to know to protect your pets and your family. A tick can can be deadly for a dog. Fred Askew is both a dog trainer and owner. He heard about the Asian longhorn tick while at a recent vet visit. Askew enjoys bringing his dogs, including Pluto, who was with him today, outside and normally checks them for insects, but now understands there is more at stake. You know, just checking the common areas, you know, in the ears, on the backs, uh, under the chest, all that good stuff. The Asian longhorn tick was recently found in York County. The invasive species has spread in part because scientists say females do not need a male to produce eggs and can lay up to 2,000 at a time. According to Dr. Melissa Nolan, a professor at USC, if you take your dog for a hike and come across a population of ticks, you could find yourself covered in hundreds. And so the concern really is that this tick could overwhelm livestock or dogs or people we have detected Lyme disease, anaplasma, and a couple other commonly known pathogens in ticks in other states. Nolan says that pet tick aids have done a good job at protecting animals from serious infestation and no serious injuries have been reported in humans. Tracy Allen and her husband own Allen Acres Farm in Lexington. She has a group of beef cattle and other farm animals. She spoke with her vet today to educate herself on the ticks. We're always very cautious about our animals and they are meat cattle so we want to make sure that we are providing the best possible care for our animals. According to researchers there have been reports in other states that the Asian longhorn tick has caused the death of livestock and experts are concerned of the impact of possible loss of livestock on the economy. Allen is confident that if she continues using preventative measures like worm medication and tick treatment her cattle will stay safe and protected. Reporting from Columbia, Nate Stanley, News 19, WLTX. Well, if you find a tick, DHEC asks that you report it and send it to their lab so they can track the species movement. You'd have to know what type of tick it was, though. So here's what DHEC is giving us tonight. Some information and suggestions for all of us to stay safe from ticks throughout the year. Obviously, you want to wear a good insect repellent and protect. Wear protective clothing that covers things like your ankles and your waist that can, uh, and also your wrists too, that can protect you from ticks when you're outside. When you get home, check yourself, check your shoes, check your ankles. Shower with soap and water to reduce the chance that you could have picked up a tick. And this is the same for pets. You want to use your daily recommended treatments as well for ticks. And also every time your ticks come in from outside, give them a good check and always check behind the ears and the neck. Make sure a tick is not attached. If you do find a tick attached to yourself or someone else, I'm going to try to get through the story without scratching every part of my body. <laughs> DHEC warns against using hacks like nail polish or Vaseline to try to get the tick to detach. These hacks can increase the potential for disease transmission. Instead, use fine tipped tweezers to grab the tick as close to the skin surface as possible. Pull the tick out steadily without jerking or twisting. Clean the bite area with soap and water and apply an antiseptic. Make sure to write down when you notice the tick bite to keep an eye out for potential symptoms of disease.